And good morning. Welcome back to the book of Philippians. Thankfully, we're not done yet. This morning, we're in chapter 4 and verse 9. Let's read from the ninth verse in this fourth chapter, just this ninth verse. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Now, this is a pretty interesting verse here because we talked about this uh, the other morning, didn't we? Uh, that God wants us to be people who are Christians, people who are part of the church. Jesus is the pattern. We are not the pattern, but we are to be a pattern. People should be able to look at us and say, uh, that's roughly how a Christian lives. None of us are volunteering. None of us are like saying, look at me, I'm, I'm being the perfect Christian. But the call, the high call of Scripture is to be examples of Christ followers. And so God is calling us up higher. He says, yes, come up higher. So now notice again what we have at verse 9. The things which you, which he's talking to me, right? Okay, so to apply it to me. The things which I, Larry, the things which I learned, the things which I received and heard, the things that Larry heard, the things that Larry saw, the things, these things I'm supposed to do, the things I heard, the things that I, all these pieces, the pieces of Christianity that God gave to me. I am supposed to not forget those things. I'm supposed to do those things. Well, what, what did God show me how to do? He showed me how to pray, so I should be praying. He showed me how to witness, so I should watch for opportunities to witness. He showed me how to preach, and I should watch for opportunities in the different ways of, of preaching. See, so God has things for us to do. Uh, he showed us how to, he showed me how to distribute tracts. I know how to go door to door and and get Bible studies, or give give out a tract or a book. I can pray for my neighbor. I can intercede for people. I've been shown how to do that. I don't have any excuse not to do that. God wants me to do that. So again, verse 9 says, The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. So if we do God's things, his peace will be with us. And this is one of the things we find in the book of Philippians repeatedly here is, do the things that God tells us to do, and his peace will be with us. A lot of Christians struggle. They, uh, they don't feel like they have that much of God's peace. Well, and I, I have to wonder, as I look at the counsel in the book of Philippians, if, if this is a, a concern, if we're nervous because I, I'm not sure, I'm really not sure if God's with me. If, if we're having that kind of a concern, could it be because that we uh, are not doing the things he told us to do? If we're not doing those things, we won't have his peace with us. If we are doing those things, we will have peace. This in, inexplicable, uh, not fully describable peace that passes, as the Bible says, we just read it, right, the other day, that passes all understanding. So today, let's do those things that God showed us how to do, and God will work with it. And so let's pray about that. But good counsel here, good counsel. Put into practice the Christian stuff I've showed you, and everything will be all right, and we can pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, we are not babes in the woods. It's true we don't. We feel like we don't know very much, but the devils want us to feel like we don't know very much. We actually have learned a great deal. We couldn't just hardly read very far in the Bible without learning a great deal about how to be a follower of Jesus. So, Lord, help us to overcome feelings of insecurity, uh, feelings of uncertainty, you know, that maybe we just kind of like are too silly to get it right. Help us to overcome those crazy things. And instead, to just simply take you up on your offer. You showed us how to do it. And now, Lord, help us to do it. And so then your peace will be upon us. And we need that peace. We need it more than ever in this crazy uh, and destructive time in which we now are living. Bless, Lord, I pray, each hearer. Thank you for hearing our requests, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, I know you can do it. If I can do it, I know you can do it.